Again, the big challenge for these coaches, for the general managers, trying to put the best 12 athletes, male side, best 12 athletes, female side to compete. It's all about the points. It's all about putting your hand on the wall first, not about the times. Cali Condors, they got a chance to tie energy standard at the top of the table if they can get the team win this weekend. Pretty much synchronized swimming the first 75. This one is up in the air, Mark. Yeah, they're all trying to set their rhythm out, trying to find how many strokes it is per length. They've all got a stroke rate. They're probably sitting about 10, 12 strokes a length. I don't know. Everybody's different. Everyone's using the rule a little bit differently. It's just finding your own rhythm. Try not to push it too hard so you can make sure you can come back. That's halfway, that's four lengths of butterfly. They've got four more to go. And it's Megan Kingsley, Kelsey Dahlia for the Cali Condors in seven and eight. They're you know, in the lead, 75 meters to go. I think in a normal competition, they just have this one race in a shit session, maybe with possibly a relay, but they've got a lot of races in their arms now. All the laps and laps they do of training are just for this, just for these moments where they can pull deep, go into those reserves. Bethany Galat, she has been a workhorse for the DC train. She's in lane number two. She's trying to move up. Bianchi, Henke trying to move up for the Aqua Centurions. They're in a battle for third with the DC train. But as they turn with 25 meters to go, it looks like the Cali Condors are destined for 16 more onto the scoreboard. The question is, will it be Kingsley or will it be Dahlia? It's Megan Kingsley getting the win and a 1-2 finish for the Cali Condors. Elara Bianchi finishing third and Greg Troy will smile at that win.